Hi guys, this is my third episode and just before I talk about the subject I'm going to talk about today I wanted to tell you about like today my friend who doesn't believe in chemtrails and doesn't believe in you know conspiracy theories at all really but even he was like what is going on with the weather why is it bright and sunny one minute windy and cloud thunderstorms wind all day he goes it's changing he goes it's never used to be like this another person I know was saying it don't believe in any of these conspiracy theories but it's so obvious now because they're doing it so much and I was like I thought I was like zip it because they know that I've said well one of the people knows I've been telling them like chemtrails no you know yeah, they just think it's rubbish but even with that rubbish and they don't think it's right they're like something's going on so people are waking up without even realizing it they're like they know that it's not right so i'm just going to put that out there my first video was really about that but i just saw a guy talking on my tiktok and he's in my newest video going huh, level earth brother don't talk about level earth flat earth so i thought you know what i've been looking into flat earth since about 2015 so I've made a lot of bullet points and I thought I'm going to point them out into this scenario because every single thing is connected. You know, you can connect everything. People who don't do that and just keep everything compartmentalised and separate go, no, let's talk about these things and not that and just stay on to one thing. Everything's connected and if you can connect them all up, which you can, then it's going to make more sense of the bigger picture. So let's go with flat earth, i.e. what I'm going to say now is level earth. Okay, so I've just been writing a few points down. Now, even if you look at any of the maps of it, and you're looking at the angle of the sea going off and rising, and going off to the eye of the eye line of the observer, which has been set out on many videos, and some people go, no, it's not, it's slightly below that, and blah, blah, blah. But you can see... When they've got the oil rigs going off into the distance, they're rising off and they're going up higher. They're not going lower, they're not curving over anything, they're going miles and miles, 30, 40 miles away, even longer, and they're looking like they're rising. But if you've ever been down in a long hallway on any flat surface, and I've been down on multiple jobs and different things where you've had really, really long hallways, you look down the hallway and it looks like it's rising, doesn't it? But it's not. If you've got to level out and checked it, and when they made the place and concreted it, it's, it is flat and observable all the way along, but your eye meets up to it. So it's exactly the same on the level of when you're out looking out to sea. It looks like, oh, it's going up a bit and raising off, but it is not. It's dead flat. I mean, water is the perfect example. It's like level. And apart from when you're having storms and the sea crashing in, when it's calm at sea, and you've seen you know, different films and things of it, and it's the big, big, massive storm, and then it stops. You can see for miles. And when I got into it in 2015, obviously it started blowing up, and YouTube was like, oh, you know, showing loads of videos, showing loads of content, and it really, because there was loads of different stuff from Eric Dubai and different people on the in, internet, and he, he got into it a bit before, and I watched um, Mark Sargent's one, which was a really good video and had a lot of good points about it. Um, it tweaked for me nigh on straight away that I thought it's level straight away. It just, it just seemed so true to me. And then breaking it down and looking at it, I thought, man, there's no way that it's not. I can never, ever go back to believing that there's a ball of water spinning through space at 55,000 miles an hour spinning on an axis but shooting off at 55,000 miles an hour but rotating in, in the whirl of the Milky Way and going 166,000 miles an hour in that and then that galaxy Milky Way is flying off at a million miles an hour four different slight speeds all different angles floating and then someone is in Australia on a giant loads of boats upside down and this gravity balls pulling it all in and all these trillions of tons of water it's got that energy of sucking that ball in as it's flying around and pulling and flying off into space and yet we feel no movement 
you don't see that at all. You see it, everyone's upright and this way round. You can't, you've not got no pulled out shot of the earth and you can go, oh look, it's underneath, there's things, there's planes flying around at the other side of it and there's wanes up this end. You've never seen none of that. All of the videos of the earth, the first ones I saw, were all flat, stationary, non-movement. Uh, there was no, you couldn't see any satellites. Some of the videos were two, three hours, four hours long of just planes floating up, so air balloons floating up slowly and staying there for quite a long time, maybe an hour or two as it's floating at that top bit and just seeing no satellites around, no movement. You could look off quite into the like the depths of the blackness. You couldn't see anything flying around with it. You couldn't see no rotation of the earth spinning and you could see hot spots under the sun that look very close and stationary. So up to me, I was like, well, hang on, I can see hot, plot, hot spots onto that cloud there. What do you mean? Like, how is that not possible? Um, I, I just thought, well, hang on, this is not right. How have they not, how do you not know this is going on? Like, it looks obvious that the sun is moving across. We are not sitting on a ball and moving away as the sun sits in the center and we move away from it and that's why it looks like it's moving. No, we're stationary, we're here, and we observe the sun moving across us. It's not that we spin, it's the sun moves. All the stars that spin around on the axis of the of the North Star and make a, a pattern and they say, oh, well, that is that, that is odd to them, but the, underneath Australia got a different spin and that just shows we're on an Earth. Well, I can't prove that. All I can say is that the, the North Star is above, and every other star rotates around it. That's a fact. We've got star patterns that do that. So anything on that circular motion, there's a bit of spin and degrees. But we are not moving. The stars and the pattern are moving. The stars, and they all sit going one rotational thing all the way around. You know, so when you look at it properly, there's no way that this is happening. Whoever has fell for that this whole time, it's already... It's already it's understandable because we've been indoctrinated. I understand that. Um, I've got into other conspiracies way before this, but it's just obvious. And then I started noticing all of the videos from uh, all of the different videos got wiped and taken down. Then they started putting all loads of rubbish up about putting all like misinformation out about it. Then certain friends that I knew that were quite wise up and it was like, oh, we've had to, they've had to take them down because you're like a stupid and don't get it. And I was like, well, if it was not true. Wouldn't you be like, you know, the, we've, I know this is a little bit different, but we've caraded around Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny, all these fake, just stupidy things. There's no Easter Bunny, there's no Santa Claus, but it's on every video, every card. We've moved movies and films and cartoons. We're told as a kid all this stuff is happening. When it's a lie, we find out that's it, it bursts our bubble, and that's it. So if there was no evidence for it, and it's all just mumbledy jumbledy rubbish, why the such intenseness about it? If you could just fly out from the Earth, film the Earth rotating and spinning with one satellite, then you're done, ain't ya? That's it. End of the day, that's all over. It had stopped from now. But no, the Red Bull jump, they did all the lovely curved fisheye lenses, but when they had the little shot of inside, it was level. You know, when they've all of the different documents that we've seen, all the <clears throat> PDF files from the Army, Navy, Space Agency, Russian, submarines, missile instructors, all was just saying it's level, stationary, doesn't move. That's how they were doing the maths and the angle, like maths and the projections of what they were, what you would do for missiles flying along in different scenarios. When I showed that to one of my friends, he was like, oh no, they just did these as a thought, thought experiment. It, that was the only thing he could say because once I'd shown you all of them, there's nothing else he could say because you have to look at it and go, okay, the, yeah. But the only thing he could say to get out of it really was it was a thought experiment. So I'm going to do a part two now as well because I've got a list of two sides of just certain things that I haven't even really started on the properness of it, like on, on these subjects. But I'm going to start that in two because you only get 10 minute TikTok videos. So I'm going to do another one after this. And hope you all join me for part two. See you soon.